So here's geographic distribution of pigmentation. And so here's the equator going right across here. And notice that we tend to see darker skin around the equator. Now, mind you, these are all new and new, uh, many new migrants, but here we go, darker skin. The closer you are to the equator, the darker your skin, right? So melanin, we have this pigmentation, turns the skin brown, it's also a protector. Like, look, evolution, human beings, as we started to walk upright, we adapted in hot climates by losing our hair. If you had hair, if you had thick hair, you can't be in dark climates. Like, you can't be because the sun, is your, you, you need to develop your sweat glands, you need to get rid of your hair, you need to be able to sweat, you need all sorts of things to happen, or your body can't survive in that climate. Okay, cool? You got it? It's very simple. So people move. As they move in this climate, we have one kind of people, but as we move out of this climate, then the body adapts, and the body then needs to adapt in different ways. So here, you need a natural protection from the sun. And as you move away, you, you need to protect yourself of UV rays in particular. Because UV rays, you know, like skin cancer isn't just a recent thing. In the past 20 years, skin cancer has been killing people since the dawn of time. The beginning of time. But as people move away from the sun, they need more sun. Because you need the sun for calcium and vitamin D and so on. So you got to get these sun rays in you. But you can't have too many sun rays. So the further north you go, the further or the further south you go, naturally melanin decreases and other pigmentations emerge which don't protect the skin in the same way and you're getting more sun, more UV rays into your skin, producing more calcium, more vitamin D. All the good stuff is happening to us, but it's also lightening our skin. But in the heavy, intense sun climates, you're going to have dark skin. And the more sun you get, the darker your skin's going to be. So therefore, dudes, can, can you volunteer? All right, you ready? Are you, what's your name? Melanie. Melanie, perfect. Stand up. Pick out the darkest skin person in the class. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be it's it's gonna be somebody who you like that yeah no, the, the, um, yeah it'll be someone who you can't even see they're so dark <laughs> they're just like okay um yeah I think it's that guy over there well hang on though you gotta look look a little okay <laughs> I'm not wearing my glasses oh you're not wearing your glasses <laughs> it's fine I can see oh don't uh, Wait, how's it feel picking out the darkest skin person in the class, by the way, as a white one? What's your name, Melanie? Melanie. How is that? I'm very comfortable with that kind of stuff, so it doesn't yeah. really bother me. Yeah? Yeah. Um, Dude, are you comfortable with it? I don't think, it, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you're comfortable? Oh, I see. Um, hmm. I think I... It more so, like, it's hard to pick out, I guess you would say, but it's just, I can see, like, your skin is darker than mine, his skin is darker than all of us. <laughs> yeah. I see what you're saying. <laughs> his skin's pretty dark. Dude, we'll just use you. Come down a sec. Wait, hang on, smile for me once. All right, there you are. <laughs> okay. Now I can see you, right? <laughs> Dude, what's your name? Lacon. What is it? Lacon. Lacon. I'm here, not come, Jewish. Come, come, down to the, come down to the front, right? Both of you. Here, come down, man. Lacon? Yeah. How do you spell it? L E K A N. L E K A N? Yeah. So we're in, speaking of the mic, though, uh -huh. and where are, you, where are you from? Nigeria. Nigeria? Yes, sir. And what's your last name? Ojo. Ojo? Ojo. Ojo, what's your Ojo. tribe? Ojo. Uh, Yoruba. Yoruba? Yeah. Ojo? Yeah. O-J. O-J-O. So, O-J-O? Yeah. What's your last name? Valenza. Valenza? What's your background? Um, Italian. Italian? Yeah. So listen. Um, how do you feel being identified as the darkest skin? Do people always see you as having darkest skin? I mean, not in Nigeria, it's a little different, but 
Well, how are you in Nigeria compared to other Nigerians? Honestly, I've been, I haven't been back yet since I was eight. Seriously? Yes, sir. When are you going to go back, dog? Maybe when I graduate or something. Dude, we've got to get this guy back to Nigeria. How come you haven't been you. back? <laughs> All right, dude. How, are, how is it having really dark skin, by the way? I got darker over the summer, actually. You did? Yeah, yeah I was playing soccer. Yeah? Yeah. So you got, how much darker did you get? About, I'd say like 5% more. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Not, would, would Melanie have noticed at all? Uh, probably, she probably would have asked. I remember I had a black friend. We, were, we used to, he was pretty dark. Not as dark as you, but yeah. pretty dark. Yeah. I remember one time we were playing basketball all day long. He's like, oh, man, I got to get out of the sun. I'm getting sunburned. Right. I'm looking at him. Dude, seriously? He's like, yeah, man, look at my skin. It's all sunburned. And I'm like. He was like, yeah, you trying to fight. <laughs> the phone is shirt up, going, where's the damn? All right, I got you, Doug. But this is like what we were talking about yesterday, by the way. So with those people who are Chinese and Korean, it's like you don't notice differences, but when you live among a group of people, you see the subtle differences, right? Like, so you know you got a little darker. Yes. Even though, like, if she got sunburn, you would know. Yeah, of course. <laughs> 